Hi peeps, it's Tess back now, what watching. I've been watching some MSNBC and some CNN and a, yeah, a little bit of Fox News and even some C-SPAN today. Right? And uh, here, here's what I'm getting from the political shenanigans going on in America. You know, nobody knows how they're in such a deep fucking shithole today. You know, I mean, fucking hell, we're taxing people. And we're paying fucking, you know, tax rebates to the same people that were taxing not enough. And now people are wondering why we don't have enough money to pay our debts, you know. Well, he, he is exactly why you don't have enough money to pay your debts, right? One, your tax fucking system is bullshit. It's been fucking taken over by the corporations who pretend that, uh, you know, they don't have enough money because they've got all these loopholes that they can cotton into. So they only pay about working 32 to 40 percent of the tax they used to pay back in, you know, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, right? Also, they don't pay their workers the representative wage it should be at compared to the productivity, you know what I mean, that that company has. So they save on the wages and they save on the tax paying and then the government's left to pick up the, the slack in that, you know what I mean, we're not getting enough tax in. So where do we get the money? Oh, well we, we borrow it, you know. And then you've got all these people who aren't earning enough to, to pay their rent and buy food and the government's sort of left, we well do we let the people that live in our country starve or we do, go, do we give them tax credits and food stamps, right, so the government is subsidising the low paid workers that these corporations are deliberately paying low wages to so that they make more profit and deliberately falsifying the fucking tax details so that they pay less tax, right? That's what's happened, you know what I mean? And so the government has got not enough tax coming in and it's paying extra money out to subsidise the workers who are working for these corporations who are not paying enough tax. You get what's going on? It's an unfair fucking system. So let's fucking cut to the chase. If somebody working for your company can't put food on the table and pay his rent, you're not paying them enough. Simple as that. And it's not like he's living in a fucking mansion and he's got a hundred kids to feed. He's living in a normal run-of-the-mill fucking condo, you know? or flat somewhere, paying over the fucking price, uh, over, over the market price for fucking rent, you know, and he's fucking feeding his kids as good as he can with the fucking money you're giving them, but his kids are still fucking hungry most of the day, so the government's got to give him tax credits to boost his wages, and fucking got to give them food fucking stamps in order to feed his kids. Now, if the corporation just raised his wages to a living fucking wage, right? Didn't take the fucking loopholes, bullshit fucking, you know, crap fucking tax fucking loopholes shit so they can say to the fucking, you know, investors, oh, you're making millions, you know what I mean? Okay, we made 200 million this year. Do you know if you made 100 million? Yeah, they would still be making money. It's still 100 million profit. How do you have to make 200 million profit? Why can't you pay your fucking fair share of tax to the company, to the country? and pay your fucking workers a decent wage. Because you know what's happened then? If you were doing that, the country might be able to go turn around and say, you know what, you're paying this amount of tax, we can cut your tax rate. Because we're not paying fucking food stamps anymore to all these fucking, you know, underpaid workers because you're paying them a wage. And they're paying their tax and that makes up for the tax we can cut off of you. You know what I mean? It makes fucking sense. Pay your workers a fucking living wage, you fucking pricks. And then maybe America will get back to the way it was 30 years ago, when it could pay for all the shit that people wanted, that the government provided. And corporations still made fucking money. Greedy bastards should be dragged out in the fucking street and shot in front of fucking the, the, the populace that they've been fucking skimming for fucking decades. Motherfucking skimming bastards, fraudsters, 
horrible fucking thieving bastards stealing money out of the pockets of the fucking hard workers, starving the workers' kids. Drag them into the street, shoot them in the fucking head with the dogs they are. And then force the companies to pay the fucking tax they owe, pay the fucking wages that are due, and take the profit that is at, uh, left at the end of it. They will still make millions. Some of them billions. But everybody else will have a fucking good life, and your country will get back on an even fucking footing with the fucking shit hits got to pay. You'll even cut the fucking stuff you've got to pay. Because there's more people are working at a living wage, paying their taxes. Well, you're paying less food stamps. You're paying less unemployment benefit. You're paying less tax fucking, you know, exemptions to low-income people. Because they're now not low-income people. They're earning an income which takes them out of the low-income. They can now start paying tax. And in doing that, you can lower the corporate tax rate. But you can't lower the corporate tax rate and leave people in poverty. That's obs obscene, man. That is fucking obscene. And any cunt saying that that's what you should do, like fucking boner prick. I'd take him out and fucking snap his boner. Tell ya. Scrunch you fucking bad motherfuckers. And by the way, here's another thing as well. Uh, Boner and these fucking cohorts and the fucking Republican side of things, I think they've tried to use the, you know, the, the debt fucking ceiling, you no know, raising that debt ceiling fucking cap thing. They're thinking of pushing that again next year. Fuck you, cunts. Britain is one of the fucking second, well, Britain is the second largest holder of American debt. And if you don't fucking pay us, our fucking shithole we're in gets worse. It's fucking bad enough over here in Britain without you making it fucking worse, motherfucker. Pay your fucking debts, you know what I mean? Don't be a fucking hobo bastard, you know what I mean? Cunt. Pay your fucking debts, fucker. Raise that fucking ceiling, borrow the money, pay your fucking debt. We, we lent you the fucking money in the first fucking place. Don't default on it, you cunt. You know what I mean? Or I'll be over there kicking you in the fucking balls, you little fucking shit. Yeah. So why are you fucking there? You know what I mean? Boner fucker. Santorum fucking ass white cunt. <laughs>